bunny ants, granny went 73. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna mute my music. Anyways, I thought I would do a short video on what I did yesterday. These are my oils and my vinegars. I started out making the oils um, and then realized I didn't have enough oil to do all of the stuff that I had. So I, I decided to do up some vinegar too. Um, now the oils, I wrote down a couple of things, a couple of points about a couple of the uh, oils that I did. I did the cedar oil. This is a vinegar. I did the cedar oil, and I'm using sunflower oil, so not only will you get the benefits of the cedar, but you'll also get the benefits of the sunflower oil. Sunflower oil is very good, and it's very high in vitamins and minerals. It's got a lot of vitamin D and C in it, because, you know, sunflowers soak up a lot of sun in their lifetime, and um, they're like a giant, uh, you know, mini sundials. They, they kind of... They, they track the movement of the sun through the sky and their face is always facing the direction of the sun so they, they soak up as much vitamin D as possible and their seeds are very very good they're very high in vitamins and I love sunflower seeds I love my sunflower oil um, I know that a lot of people use um, olive oil and Olive oil is just kind of pricey for me. Sunflower oil has a, a lot of benefits too, and it's a very good oil. Excuse me, I just reach. It's got a very good oil for, you know, made n not you know major things. Like if I'm making something for somebody specifically, I will go out and I will buy the olive oil. But considering how often. I make oils the sunflower oil is just financially easier for me because I make a lot of oils I make more for cooking sunflower oil is a, a better cooking oil in my opinion because it has a higher heat tolerance um, and it doesn't lose a lot of its uh, essential vitamins and minerals it, when you're cooking with it like olive oil tends to um, olive oil has a very low heat tolerance and um, when you're cooking with it, it's um, it's better to use it at the end of your cooking for flavoring because then you get all the benefits of the olive oil and you don't burn off all the good stuff. But I wrote down a few things about the cedar leaf. Um, there was a note that I found when I was doing my research on the cedar because cedar leaf oil and pine oil was not something that I've done a lot of. My grandparents used to do it. My grandfather was native. He's Blackfoot. And his reservation was up near Algonquin Park here in Ontario. But um, I never actually did a lot of the cedar and pine oils when uh, I was a kid. I helped gather the stuff so that they could make it. But um, like I said, there was a note on the research that I did about cedar oil and inhaling too much of the smell. But I, the note that I got was on essential oils. And essential oils are very potent. They're very concentrated. These are infused oils. And, you know, for the newbies who are, are just starting to do their own oils, there's a huge difference between essential oils and infused oils. Essential oils are are condensed and really, really potent with the um, with whatever uh, herb or botanical that is being that the oil is being derived from. Now, infused oils are a lot less because they are watered down, if you if you will, with the whatever carrier oil you're using. But the essential oils, like I said, they're concentrated. So the, the note on the cedar oil, and it is for the essential oil, is that if you inhale too much of it, its scent can irritate the respiratory tract and can cause nervous afflictions. And uh, plainly put, that means that it could cause panic attacks. And it's, it's a very strong, potent neurotoxin that is in uh, cedar oil. So you have to be very careful when using it. Um, using cedar oil topically is really good for arthritis and tendon pains. Um, you can use it on your chest in place of Vicks for congestion. 
it's a good sleep aid and it's a, it's a good astringent for insect bites and cuts and scrapes and bruises because it, it has a natural um, antiseptic etc stimulated it stimulates blood flow so if you're um, at a stage in your life where you're still having menstruation um, problems like if you're having cramps or PMS or whatever or you get really tired and headachey during your your period um, cedar oil is really good for that you just massage it on the area where you where you have the soreness and stuff and it's like putting a heating pad on it, it kind of warms the area um, if you're taking the cedar vinegar like taking a teaspoon or a tablespoon of it a day make sure that you talk to your pharmacist if you're taking medications such as blood pressure medication or anything like that anything The vinegar works the same way as the vodka. It pulls out all of the essential oils and the nutrients out of the leaves. And it makes, well, depending on what vinegar you use, I wouldn't suggest using distilled vinegars like white vinegar. But apple cider vinegar and stuff like that is really good because you're not only getting the benefits of the herb that you're using, but you're also getting the benefits, as I said, with the oils with the vinegar that you're using. And apple cider vinegar is really good for balancing, balancing pH levels in your body. Pine oil is can be used, it's an edible. You can eat pine, pine, you can make pine needle tea, and it's very high in vitamin C. It's very good for your digestion. Um, it's an excellent um, flavoring for alcoholic beverages and non-alcoholic beverages you can bake with it you can um, use it for confections for like uh, cakes and and ice cream and gelatins and puddings also um, it's a uh, great you can, if you put 10 drops of cedar oil now again essential oils for this would be better than the infused oils but I imagine it would work slightly the same way just not quite as good you put it says you put 10 drops of cedar oil on a piece of untreated wood and you put it in your drawer or your closet and it will keep away moths and other insects that like to eat, um, eat at your clothing it's a great air freshener you can use it on woods on um, wood tables and stuff like that for a massage oil it eases muscle stiffness and pain relax you can use it in your bath water it stimulates metabolism boosts activity levels eliminates uh, excess water uric acid salt and fat through your urine and cures uh, urinating your excess water and stuff apple cider vinegar has been known to be an aid in weight loss so if you're looking to lose a few pounds make yourself some pine vinegar with apple cider vinegar and pine needles. It, the health benefits alone are just they're just amazing with pine needles um, the most common ways to use pine oil though is through application on the skin and t to inhale it so <clears throat> if you have a respiratory issue and you put some in a vaporizer in a cool mist vaporizer at nighttime and set it by your bed it will really help you can also use it topically as I said if you're going to be using this please 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 talk to your doctor um, pharmacist or a natural path if you're the seeing it before but I didn't have any oil to do the juniper so I did a juniper vinegar and it says here that mo most of the times juniper berries are used and they're used for urinary tract infection um, they're good for uh, urinary passing stimulates the kidneys to move fluids faster great for sluggish kidneys and to, to aid in infection have prevention. kidney issues or chronic uh, kidney problems it, it can also be given to people who have a uh, chronic kidney infection issue like if you get kidney infections regularly taking a tiny bit of the juniper uh, leaf vinegar can help with that as I said though if you're taking other medications talk to your doctor tell them what your plans are don't take any med anything like this without talking to your doctor because you don't know what might interfere with your meds and what can cause some um, serious issues it's also great for treatment of uh, debility and chronic conditions associated with lack of to tone in the bladder and urethra sorry 
urethra. Um, Joint pain, gout, rheumatism, arthritis, and nerve and muscle and tendon disorders. The oils have been used topically to aid cough and lung congestion, and sap and resins have been used for treating um, psoriasis and other stubborn so, skin. So, as I said, talk to your doctor. I am not a doctor, and I'm not promoting anybody to go out and start, uh, you know, treating themselves for any kind of disorders. All I'm saying is that natural medicines have been used for centuries without issues, but, you know, do your homework. Make sure that you know what you're doing before you do it. If you're using stuff like cedar and pine and, and juniper, make sure that you know your herbs before you start using them. You know what the, the effects on people are. And you know your allergies.